There you go. Now that's what I call a triple heart bypass. Welcome to Stealth in Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> This guide started out as a best-in-slot stealth gear guide, which was requested by one of my long-term supporters. Depending on how you look at it, this video either evolved into something more, or to put it in a more down-to-earth way, it's a massive fucking cop-out. I'll let you guys be the judge. When I started researching best-in-slot stealth gear, I realised it's more complicated than just putting on the item with the highest stealth stats and decided instead to do a guide on how you can improve your stealth and still have armour that's worth a shit. Honestly, if you are only interested in having the lowest possible stealth stats at any cost, there are already some excellent guides out there. However, be warned, the cost of going for absolute maximum stealth stats is that your gear will be absolute total shit. In the end, I came to the conclusion that we need to balance three competing priorities. Stealth level, combat effectiveness, and looking stylish. We also have to factor in that you can't just go out and fucking buy a lot of the gear on demand, and its stealth value is also affected by your skills and perks. So developing a stealth build is about understanding the process so that you can develop a gear set that works for your style of play. So let's make a few qualifications. There's no point designing a stealth build that relies on you taking stuff off to sneak around. You can have a stealth build in full fucking plate armour if you're just going to strip off to stealth around. If that's your strategy, just take a dark cape with you and strip down to your skiddies when you want to become a ninja. There is also no point having high stealth if your gear leaves you incapable of fighting. If your stealth gear doesn't provide you with adequate protection to fight, if you get spotted, you might as well have gone with plan 1. Wear full plate armour and strip down to your fucking skiddies when you want to become a ninja. There's also no point having high stealth if you look like a fucking donkey. Seriously, who wants to play this game if you are forced to dress up like a fucking dandy or a shit carrier? We all need to make concessions to bohemian fashion after all. So let's strike a balance between stealth, combat effectiveness and looking sexier than Jules in Pulp Fiction. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Vlamenzi who is, let's face it, the resident expert on stealth playthroughs in Kingdom Come Deliverance and I fully acknowledge that I have stolen his and pretty much everyone else's ideas during the making of this video. So let's talk about stats. The important three stats to keep an eye on when making your stealth build is as follows. Noise. Basically, what gives you away if people can't see you? Noise is fucking important. Even if people can't see you, if you are clanking around, people might come and investigate. That's why ninjas don't wear clogs or carry tambourines. Visibility. The distance from which an NPC can actually see you. This is a critical stat. Conspicuousness. The time it takes someone to recognise you. This seems to be more about whether people and especially guards will pay attention to you in the normal environment. But we're going to try and keep this as low as possible for two reasons regardless. One, there might be hidden stats that are beneficial that we don't understand yet. Two, I'm going to make the wild assumption that if you're watching a stealth guide, you are probably going to be stealing and murdering in towns and cities. So the less attention you get from everyone under any circumstances can only be a good thing. For example, you don't want to get caught thieving because you didn't notice that you attracted the attention of a guard who decided to follow you to the scene of the crime. These are your reference points when selecting gear. You want all three of these stats to be as low as possible. Before we even take a look at the gear, remember that perks, skills and potions make an enormous difference to your stealthiness. Stealth skill is obviously a big fucking deal. The higher your stealth skill, the better. 
there is much debate on how to scientifically level your stealth skill up, but I'm reasonably certain that the following activities help. Sneaking around, e.g. moving whilst crouched near enemies. Successful lock picking, stealth kills and stealth chokeouts. This is a common sense equation in my book. We might not know the exact science of stealth, but sneaking around, doing stealthy sneaky stuff results in capping stealth points, so be a sneaky bastard. So what of perks? Let's take a look at stealth perks. Crouching Chameleon is bloody great. Crouch down for a few seconds and don't move and you get a 30% stealth bonus whilst you remain still. Bloody perfect if you're watching a bandit camp working out your plan of attack. Rain Man. This is a conditional perk. It massively reduces the noise you make when it's raining. It doesn't hurt, but it's not life changing. And to be honest, I don't generally find that it's raining that much of the time. Dog Person. Dogs won't bark at you. This is a bloody handy stat to have because dogs wake people up and when you're sneaking around at night, the dogs will see you and they will fucking bark at you. I consider Dog Person to be a must have stealth perk. Ordinary Mug. When you're wanted, people are less likely to recognise your face and soon stop looking for you. Let's be honest, you are, from time to time, going to fuck shit up. And this will help you flee the scene. Et tu Brute. Attacks from behind will be one third stronger. This might help with stealth chokeouts, but I have no scientific proof. Stealth chokeouts can be resisted. The calculation is based on relative strength values for the attacker and the person being attacked. It's possible that this will help with that calculation. Hunting perks. Forester. Increases stealth in the woods. This is very handy if you're following someone through the woods or sneaking up on bandit camps. Maintenance perks. Stuffing. Repairing your own armour reduces noise. I personally think this is a fucking powerful perk to pick. Some items of armour, when repaired by you, can go from adding noise to actually muffling the noise you make. I consider this a must-have perk. Slim Fit. Reduces noise of armour and equipment. Slim Fit is awesome if you rattle but sucks if you're making a stealth build. Why? Because you can easily get your noise down to under 10 with a little effort, and this perk reduces the noise by 20%. Basically, the more stealthy you become, the more pointless this perk becomes. I took it anyway because reasons, but do the maths. If you're clanking around in full plate armor with 100 noise level, this perk will reduce your noise by 20 points. If you have a 5 noise rating, it will reduce your noise by one fucking point. I took this perk regardless, but prepare to be disappointed when you pick this perk and see virtually no results. As always with Kingdom Come Deliverance, remember that sometimes perks only interact with certain gear choices. So maybe shoes are a better choice combined with 7 mile boots for the extra stealth and longer running time, as you might regularly have to run out of the middle of those bandit camps when you trip over a pan. You also need to decide what you are prepared to trade off. Silent shoes are superb stealth shoes, but offer nearly zero protection. There are boots that are only slightly more noisy, that actually offer a very modest amount of protection. What is that trade off worth for you? Some boots look skanky, and some boots look sexy. Would you trade off plus one noise for the sake of having nice looking boots? That's exactly what I did. Lastly, let's talk about potions. Nighthawk Potion. This is the bohemian answer to night vision goggles. If you're going to be sneaking around in the dark, being able to see is kind of important. Buy it or level your alchemy and make it. 
Padfoot Potion is also worth checking out for the steroidal boost. Lockpicking, pickpocketing and stealth skills are increased by 5 for 10 minutes. Talking of which, remember that you are much harder to spot at night. So if you plan on sneaking into a bandit camp and murdering them in their sleep, do it at night for two important reasons. You are less likely to get spotted and or hacked to death. And also because bandits tend to be awake during the day. That's science, right there. Seriously though, nearly everything about stealth, thievery and murder is enhanced by simply choosing to do it at night. So let's talk about the process of assembling your stealth gear. It's worth remembering that when you're going shopping, items at the trader selling at 100% condition, which have not been repaired by you, will not benefit from the stuffing perk, so they will appear slightly noisier than their final value when repaired by you and equipped. They are also fucking expensive. What I personally did when experimenting with stealth was to remove any very noisy high impact items like full plate leggings and chainmail chest and chainmail leggings. Then I put on the quietest alternative gear I could find. Then I set off to farm bandits armed with a fuck ton of armor kits. When I found something interesting with good stealth values I would repair it and see what its final stats were. This got me my gear and made me profit. This was preferable to making high risk purchases at the vendor, finding out that they were not improvements and then selling them back at a fraction of the price. This said however, the armourer, tailor and cobbler in Rate hold a few items in stock regularly that are fantastic. The dark Saxon gamberson, silent shoes, dark quiet boots, tight hose, dark Milanese brigandine and felt hats. Although felt hats make you look like the village idiot. So let's take a look at some gear examples. The following gear recommendations are based on having the stuffing perk which reduces noise of armour I've repaired myself. This build is not gospel or cast in stone, this is just an example of how I traded off about roughly 20% of my armour protection and in return went from being a clanky, conspicuous tin man with 95 noise value to someone who can actually sneak around. It's also very specific to me because I dress up as a murdering serial killer monk. The helmet slot. Well, I don't wear one, but a dark coloured felt hat will increase your stealth a little with virtually no protection. A few helmets that I tried reduced your stealth a little but gave great protection. Experiment and find the balance you need. Most helmets combined with a stuffing perk will be okay. Coif. Padded black coif was good protection and good stealth. Head chain mail. A male coif with 14 armour provided the least noise. Experiment as some look identical but carry different stat values. The noble coif is best protection but actually very noisy. Neck chain. I wear a fancy neck chain that raises my conspicuousness by one, but it's worth it. Because I'm worth it. Body. Outer garment. Basically anything dark. Monks or priest robes I found were actually quite good, but come with two drawbacks. First, people will relentlessly ask you why you are not in the monastery. It seems to stop only when you're in full armour. Second, you need to steal the damn things. The easiest way to do this without getting caught is to go to the Sassau Church west of town and choke out the monk and the priest. Don't kill them. You can come back regularly for more. Tailor them to full condition constantly because they have low durability. But be warned, they will flag as stolen items for a few days after you thieve them. Body plate. Dark Milanese Brigandine. Fantastic armour and with perks only cause 6 noise. Besides being one of the best chest pieces in the damn game, it also boasts excellent stealth stats. Absolute best in slot in my humble opinion. Body chainmail. I removed it. 
I eventually found a brown coat RD that gave me a little armour with no negative effects. But body chainmail is just too fucking noisy, so you just have to get rid of it. Body garment? Dark Saxon Gamberson is doing great. I think it is literally a best in slot item. Gloves. Milanese gauntlets with the stuffing perk actually reduce my overall noise levels. Experiment with the gloves because the stealth and relative armour values vary wildly. Arm armour. Polish plate pauldrons. Awesome protection and good stealth value. Some are much noisier than others. As a general rule though, anything with the word rivet in the title will have both bad armour and stealth values. Who would have fucking guessed it? Legs. Leg chainmail. I swapped out chainmail legs for padded shows. Trading some protection for a hell of a lot of noise reduction. Leg chainmail is another one of those items that is just bloody noisy. Hose. Tight red hose, tight black hose. There's lots of hose to choose from. See what I did there? Leg plate. Short brigandine shows. A combo of boots with brigandine shows over the top is much better for stealth than all-in-one plate legs like Mizen, etc. Which clank like a fucking motherfucker. Boots. Loads to choose from, and most are some form of small trade between noise, protection and durability. I personally went for dark riding boots for all round stats. Yeah. Remember that combined with the stuffing perk, sticking on a felt hat and taking off your spurs can make up to 10 points difference with noise. Personally though, I don't like swapping gear in and out, and I also think the felt hat makes you look like Hodor's long lost fucking cousin. This video is all about getting you on the right path to experiment sensibly yourself. Every player has a different set of priorities and play styles, and there is no right answer to the stealth problem. As Vermenzi stated, any fucker can put together a best in slot stealth guide with 0, 0, 0 stealth stat values where you have to swap out half your clothes to fight. But putting together a stealthy gear set that works in all circumstances, well, that's where the money is. There are 14 armour slots to fill, many applicable perks, so the permutations of options are huge, and will change as you level up and unlock more skills and perks, so there's no simple, single answer to the stealth question. Combine this with the fact that you will have to collect a lot of this gear as you go, and experimentation is king here. What I hope I've done here is give you a decent baseline for high stealth, decent combat effectiveness, where you don't look like a shit carrying peon. The example I showed you is providing me with pretty reasonable stealth values, certainly enough to sneak into a camp at night and stab everyone to death. On top of that, I still have enough protection to fight a fully armoured target in hardcore mode, as long as I don't get too cocky. Sure. It's not the highest stealth values, so if you're doing a quest where you have to steal something from a trader and you don't want to fight anyone at any cost, just strip naked, put on a black coat, and off your fuck. But if you want to be able to fight and be stealthy, I hope this guide has set you on the right path for collecting gear and looking fashionable whilst you do it. As always, if you have any tips or information about what I've discussed, please leave some feedback in the comments so that we can all benefit from it. But for now, good luck and happy hunting.